Orbital has a new lighting service. You can like play with the spot. Oh, awesome. But uh, yeah, watch this. Bring it over to us here. Isn't that crazy? No way. No way. What the hell? Oh my God, no way. Yay, yay. Hi. Uh, we're buying the sun now. You can buy sunlight. <laughs> What could go wrong? Hey, hello, howdy, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between that, and welcome on into another silly, funny video. I've installed some Minecraft parkour on the TV behind me for any nitrous oxide addicts in the chat. Hi, Kanye West. Yeah, I'm on a nitrous. But today we're gonna be talking about something a little different. The sun. The unmatched power of the sun. One of the biggest power sources in our, you know, local vicinity is trying to be utilized by a company as a way to give us sunlight even when there's no sun in the sky. Like nighttime, when the night, when the sun's off, because that's what happens when during the nighttime it goes on the bottom side of the flat earth and then uh, it, you can't see it anymore. Unless we utilize satellites with gigantic mirrors on them that you can be used to target anywhere on the planet anytime you want for some free sunlight. Which honestly sounds extremely cool. Back in the day, we had to get on our knees and pray to the sun god Ra to get any sun during the nighttime. So being able to just call upon a company to call a skin cancer generator at any time, at any moment, sounds absolutely interesting. Like, I want to learn more about it, and so that's what I wanted to do. And, of course, before I go any deeper into this, I have to give credit where credit is due. Thank you, Sean the Sigma Ohio Rizzler, for sending this initially in my video ideas channel on my Discord. I appreciate it. It's always hard to find goofy, silly topics, so stumbling across this was really interesting. I'm very glad that you sent it to me. However, in turn, I'm not glad that I just had to say the words Sean the Sigma Ohio Rizzler out loud. Thank you for the brain tissue scarring. But I wanted to dig deeper into it and learn more about how it works, what it is, and if I can use it to send the unmatched power of the sun to my ex's house when she's trying to sleep at 3 a.m. And so to learn more, I wanted to dig first into their website, which if you can't tell by the change in tone of my skin, I'm getting a skin tan just by looking at their website because you get a bit of a taste of the unmatched power of the sun just by tuning in. But it's a pretty cool website. If you scroll down, it gives you this really cute demonstration talking about the sun being an energy source, showing their cute little silver trapezoids they'll have floating around the planet, and then showing how the little you can know, blast the sun and create your own little sun hitman, which is really cool. I, I know I'm making fun of this, and I'm going to continue to make fun of it throughout this video, but nonetheless, I think this is an extremely cool concept, and I'd love to see it come to fruition. I love the ability to have sunlight on farms at night or have solar fields being powered by the sun at, during the nighttime. A lot of night, a lot of night time, considering that's the one time when the sun wouldn't be available for free in the first place. But it's a really, really cool concept, and I would love to see it used for those reasons, and not just as a skin cancer hitman, because... <laughs> a potential usage of it, I guess. And so next, I want to look into the people behind the project, who are two CEOs that go by the name of Ben Noak and Tristan Semelhack, which both of them have Twitter accounts, Tristan with his whole banner being the unmatched power of the sun. But the account that genuinely interests me is Ben's, because, of course, he also has the unmatched power of the sun, but this is an actual demonstration of their project. He's the one behind most of the videos with his YouTube channel called Ben and Builds, posting a video that I saw earlier today called Can We Sell Sunlight After Dark? And... I guess we're going full XQC mode because we're going to react to this video and talk about the interesting aspects of it because I find this genuinely kind of cool. And so, you know, let's dig in. Get your fork and knife. Fork knife. Fork that Fortnite reference? Shut up. Get in the video. Come on. This gigantic solar farm doesn't make any power at night. Really? I never would have expected this. And neither will any of these. But we can change that. With control over sunlight, solar energy can power the world forever. Or at least until the sun explodes. When, when's this, when's the sun going to explode? Five billion years? I'm not ready for that. I need to start packing my bags. God damn it. The Russians launched a reflector satellite in the 1990s, and it worked. But we've come a long way since then. With simple satellites in the right constellation shining on existing solar farms, we can produce cheap electricity. I think this part of the project is the most interesting part to me because it is true. This is the cheapest and easiest to access electricity, which is probably why the CIA is going to make these people disappear before they can ever <laughs> make it a reality. I'm kidding! I'm kidding! The government would never do anything like that. Don't look up the um, water-powered car engine, by the way. Don't look that up. That didn't happen. After many design iterations, ground testing, drone testing, and talking to lots of customers, we had one last thing to build before moving on to space. The balloon test. I actually heard that Kanye's a big fan of balloon tests, too, except instead of hot air balloons, it's filled with nitrous no, oxide. No, I'm not letting him live that down. Thanks for asking. I 
feel bad for whatever poor earthworm just got launched from 3,000 meters above the earth down to the ground. <laughs> poor guy got master chiefed. Yeah, dude, I believe it. You are quite literally summoning the sun in a place where it normally wouldn't be. You're wielding Mother Nature like your storm from the X-Men. We are drifting very fast east, though, so got to mind you. It'd be funny if from this current position they just started blasting various houses with the unmatched power of the sun and seeing which ones light on fire. Just as a little social experiment. See what, see who, who can last. I call it natural selection, except completely unnaturally. We are tracking onto Tristan with his light there, and the sun is going to rise here. I see it, I see it, I see it! For a, <laughs> for a radiance measurement. But by the end of this experiment, this guy's going to be blasted with so much ultraviolet radiation, he's going to look like the grandma from Spongebob who remembers when chocolate was first invented. Oh yeah! Dude, I can see the beam too. So there's Tristan standing in a sunbeam, basically right on him. <laughs> that poor guy on the ground is sitting there like, Yeah! It works! It works! I see the sun! Oh my god! I, I actually can't see anything right now. Why do I hear sizzling? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can feel the heat, actually. <laughs> I love his concerned little chortle of his own recognition of him being boiled alive. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. We're on. We might be getting actual readings. It's going up. Like flash. Stop. Stop moving. Uh, nobody move at all. It went from 58 to 120 watts. Let there be light! <laughs> Hell yes. All right, I'm going to move it off for 10 seconds and then move it back on. Let's keep going. Let's get that signal to noise ratio. There you go. That's 140 watts. That, that's not existed before. This is it! We're doing it, man! I'm literally sitting here kicking my feet and smiling like a middle schooler who just got a text from their crush because it's just so exciting seeing an experiment that's being put towards a good cause having this kind of success. Of course, this is like 300 miles less than it needs to be up in space, but I love the idea that this could actually work out and be a successful product and not hopefully turn into a, the Death Star in real life because the potential is there. I'm pointing a mirror at your panels, Tristan! What a strange thing to say. And so that is the video for this project, and I'm really excited to see this come through. They are so confident, in fact, that this will come through, that they are allowing, as of today, you to order sunlight. You can order up to four minutes of sunlight in your area to have sent to you. The only caveat here, and I would argue is a pretty big caveat, is the sunbeams that you would be receiving are around five kilometers wide. So, if you're intending to light up your entire neighborhood for the night, or I guess four minutes, I guess it's a good investment. I actually saw on their website you can, like, zoom in on specific parts of the Earth and choose where you want it to be. But I found it funny when I zoomed in on California, how it covers an entire airport. <laughs> like, holy shit! I don't know if I need that much sun. Like, I just want, like, can you get, like, a condensed one right on my backyard and I can sunbathe at three in the morning? I don't know if I need my entire city to be lit uh, it has streetlights. I feel like that works. But this is genuinely such a cool project because it allows for so many capabilities. I mean, of course, there's the whole solar panel and farming thing, but I like the idea of shining it into various undiscovered parts of land where natives could be living and make them think that their god has finally come for them. <laughs> Oh my god, the amount of trolling that's going to come from this is going to be absurd. I actually think I, I saw on the Twitter of Tristan that said that they apparently, where is it? It says right here, 30,000 applications for a spot of light are cl and climbing every second. You know that half of those are aiming at people they do not like. <laughs> Like, I wonder how many celebrities' homes are going to be blasted with the unmatched power of the sun once this finally releases. Like, I don't see celebrities like Elon Musk sleeping ever again. <laughs> They're just gonna have sun pointed at his house at all times. And they're just gonna have someone else invest in a gigantic, comically oversized magnifying glass and give that man the ant on the sidewalk treatment. Just blast him with the unmatched power of the sun. This will be the first iteration of an actual Death Star. That's so crazy. And probably bad, because it's gonna start our first space Star War in real life.
life. <laughs> I also wonder how this is going to affect places on Earth that don't always get entire day-night cycles, like Alaska or Antarctica. Like, are we going to start creating day-night cycles in those areas, in just areas where humans live? That could be cool. Could result in some, like, actual habitability in those areas, or could just speed up the melting of the ice caps, which is cool. I love Florida and California sinking into the ocean. But of course, as I said, you can apply for sunshine. If you go right here, you can see that you can sign up for a certain area, and it closes on October 23rd, so if you want the sun at your house, give it a try. Go sign up. I don't know if you have to pay. It doesn't look like there's any place to put in your credit card information, so it might be free, which I think is even cooler, like a little beta test, because it is only four minutes. But who knows? I'd love to see where this goes. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Any possible horrible eldritch abominations that could come from this? Any horrible scientific sci-fi horror situations that could develop? I don't know. Maybe. Let's just see what happens when it happens. But I appreciate you guys being with me for now. Thank you for being here. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new. This is another shorter video. I just had fun looking into this. I thought it was kind of funny, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for being here, and as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and... Oh, what? Ah! Ah!